Chappelle. <laughs> it was dispellable back then. That was the thing. It was oh, this okay. whole idea was that if you're versing Omni, you have to get Diffusal Blade, right. okay, um, Rappel, or you just lose. Rappel was five, six, seven, eight, and then in seven point it was reduced to four, five, six, seven. From but what? Go go way back to like way way back. All right, let's see. Rappel, go back. Repel duration reduced from 6, 8, 10, 12 to 4, 6, okay, 8, 10. Okay, so it was 4, 6, 8, 10 at one point. Yeah, just, it keeps, it basically, it's, it gets Go kept further back. Yeah, <laughs> 5, Here 10, we go. 15, 20. It was 5, 10, 15, 20. 20 second repel. It was dispellable, to be fair. The repel, when it was super short, was undispellable. I mean, but it, 20 seconds. But it only it, became it undispellable like a couple of patches before it got changed to Heavenly Grace, right? It, like, um, it it had 20 second cooldown and 20 second yeah, duration. It was, perma it was repel. permanent yeah, repel. It, it was it was great. <laughs> so you the the meta was you'd have this unkillable carry who's repelled and they'd go Lincoln so you couldn't defusal blade it. Um, and it was just. <laughs> Six point six seven. Whatever. <laughs> and that wasn't even that long ago. That was, was well. That was like three years ago, maybe four years ago. I don't know. What does did the patches have dates? Does it tell you what date it was? Uh, that was 2010. Okay. So uh, little, Dota One, never mind. Dota One, Dota One meta. <laughs> Way back in the day. <laughs> ah, I see. Maybe it's gonna come back. Maybe we'll get a twenty-second repel. <laughs> Skeleton King <laughs> patch notes. <laughs> Rest <Aww>. in peace. <laughs> Vampiric Aura AOE increased to nine hundred. <laughs> Six hundred range aura. <laughs> 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 oh, that's 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 a bit sad. Oh God. We do have a draft. Uh, oh, we're, hold on, we're reading 2010 right. patch notes. <laughs> Sorry, this is <laughs> Sorry. a little more important than Quick, that. we got to do a video about it. It'll yeah. be eight hours long. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's our icy man. Ice, ice. And then there he is. What, what, what bands have we got? What do we? What Enigma we is the one that's a little funky. Yeah, so Ios just seems like a must ban hero still, and then Dazzle Tusk. Dazzle just seems in that tier where you may as well ban him, and Tusk is against certain. I think against TNC Fnatic, you have to ban him. And Enigma is the Maneski. Uh, most teams are banning Enigma versus Maneski because of KP. Well, it leaves open Grimstroke. It leaves open uh, Brewmaster. Brew. It's the big one as well. Centaur, if they want to do it. Remember, Brew dispels the Lich armor, so I do think if there's a Lich, you, you don't. You don't want to give them Lich Brew as well. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to give them Lich Brew. You don't care that there's a Lich if you pick the Brew. That 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 actually was very effective yeah. as a as a as a counter to, hey. to the lich. You can see here they picked the brew and they don't even know what their other hero they're picking is. They just know they want the yeah. brew. They so. could get they could get Rubik right now. Yeah, Rubik's actually being top tier. DNC we haven't really talked about Rubik in that way, but he he is one oh of the Grimstroke as well. Best early picks. That that that's gonna be stronger for for the lane. For so the lane, maybe not for the mid game and the game itself. Yeah, this Although is like the the question, right? Like before, this would have been a Grimstroke and then like a, a Brew Lich. So instead, it's yeah. like the trade off. Instead, I think the if you give, get Grim and they get Brew Lich, you're in a terrible Ten position. Yeah. I don't think Grim is mm -hmm. the first pick hero. I think you could have first picked Brew. I think that is viable. But yeah, because you're not going to take Grim Lich. Yeah. I think Lich first pick is still fine, even when they Brew Master, just because the lane is so strong. And the way the way they play Lich is in the five position role for Ninja Boogie, and he just secures the lane every single game. We have seen Grim Grim Lich before, though. It, actually, TNC Predator did did pick it just just yeah. because both of these heroes can run as like a four, as a four or five. They're mm. just both so strong. So it's TNC one. It's actually really nice to leave to leave both the Lich and the Grimstroke in the pool, and then pick Brew, and then you should have the option to have either of them. Right. Yeah, that's and what I was saying. Yeah, I th and then if if th if they were to pick Brew, maybe you could gr you c you could Grim Lich. I think the only argument is if you really don't want Grim, and then you want to uh, secure that you get the Lich. Like they do do different things also though. Yeah, like that I, I don't like Grim Lich first two because you're just revealing your two supports. It's like there's no flexibility. Yeah, they can both be four or five. You don't know who's going safe lane, who's going off lane, but it's still you know the two supports. Whereas you, you pick options this in, in the cores. It, it does limit your cores though. Like yeah, a lot. And you pick, but like you pick Brew, Grimstroke. Brew is very flexible on his lane. True, Gr true. Grimstroke, same thing. Like this could be the dual lane in the off lane, could be safe lane. Yep. They could be in separate lanes. I think earlier today we saw uh, Brewmaster plus Lich destroy, absolutely destroy Morphling lane. Ten I, think I think Grim remain. plus Brew would do similarly. Maybe a little bit worse, but really Five I think I think the Brew remain. is the, the the key factor in, in this lane. Like this hero just predator. trades Turn so well, yeah. especially with some hero to, to buff him up a little bit. I mean, it could, again, be switching up and do the mid-morph lane. Um, that might yeah. be the better option, since that's so potent of a combo. I think that, yeah, I, I like the, the potential mid one, but I think that combo can maybe not go as well against the Lich, though. That's the thing. They've got the Lich on the other side. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah. 
just having that level one Nova harass to secure the lane and then the armor. Sure, they're going to be um, throwing nukes, but anytime they throw the nukes, it's to slow and then right click you. That armor just blocks yeah, so much yeah. damage and harasses them while that's going on. Yeah, both both heroes just like so good at trading. That'd probably be a bit of a wash lane. I think if you're picking Brood Grim Grimstroke, you want that lane to be a win. Like you're you're sacrificing the other lanes to make that lane winning for the most part. Well, I think that the Morphlings today have not looked as good, if I remember correctly, based upon the, the win rates. I do believe They lost both games we saw. T TNC and Fnatic both lost with the hero. It has not looked... Whereas like yesterday it looked crazy good. You know? It looked pretty good, yeah. TNC, last time they played Minesky, looked crazy good. But maybe anything can look good against TB. I mean, do you start thinking about like some of the mass magical damage, like a Skyrath or a... Yeah. Tinker potentially later on from yesterday we saw Lion against it and that oh was yeah I like that I, I like I like Lion a lot I, I think in competitive Lion hasn't been picked for a very long time so people are a bit uh, scared to pick it but in in pubs Morphling's just feed lines that that hero is a complete hard counter to the to Morphling even if he gets a Lincoln Sphere you have an instant Lincoln's cancel yeah and uh, instant stun. And then with the extra finger damage now that you get, I mean, Lion's a, Lion's a legitimately good hero. So it's not just it's not just the you know pub pick anymore. And they banned the Lena, who's been used to against the Morphling a bit for the burst damage. And picked a lot with the Grim Stroke as well. That's very true. Ooh, Lion um, Grim. I think Morphling's still a good hero for me, even though I think the last three Morphling games, like we saw two today and the one yesterday lose, it's I think still it's been, it's been like side lane there. lane losing Morphlings though. Like the Morphlings have been. Not having a good early yeah, game at all. Yeah, that's true. Like the early games are not being Well, secured. Armel, I think, lost one, too. Armel, he was mid, right? He yeah. was mid, was but he the mid? MP was side lane. Was was he mid? I think he was mid. I mean, it was Armel, so yeah, it would have been mid. I think he was mid. In they had um safe lane. Timber. Timber. Was, was that that game? Let me look. No. Me Timber look. was, yeah. We've seen a lot of Dota. So they, yeah, they had, they, they, they had, a, they had a Timber. remaining. Oh wait, no. This was against Boomighty. Because they didn't we lose didn't with that. Was or yesterday or when it was the Gabby Timber and the? Uh, did they have? So they did Morphling against Mineski. Mineski's turn. I'm thinking Sky when they lost with it just ready. now against. No, they won the game he against mid. Mineski. He played mid. No, the game they lost it just now against Fnatic. When they had Morphling, it was Armel playing at mid. Who was their safe laner? They had Timbersaw. It was sa what safe lane Timbersaw? Is that what I'm seeing? And a puck? No, they won that game. <laughs> yeah, refresh. Okay, yeah, that's that the there problem. Is. We didn't refresh. That was, that was they had Husker. That's what it was. Oh, Husker, right, yeah. Yeah. Um, Whoops. yeah, I think the that game, the Morphling looked alright. The Husker was Five maybe struggling a bit more. Yeah. Would you have expected the Skyrath on the side of TNC Predator? I wonder if it's like a deny type thing. I guess probably not since they have Phoenix Grim now. I'm not su surprised we're seeing Skyrath. This year is crazy strong right now. I think he's strong. Really good um, against Phoenix and Brewer as well. Silence is a lot of value. Silence, yeah. They like don't a, have like a doom. any good stuns or set up, but they, I'm sure they will. Uh, we'll see a Sand King. Sand we'll King's still in the pool, yeah. Uh, I mean, what else is there? Man, how Void's sad still is in the that, pool? that like, um, the Skyrath E has sometimes the same value as like a doom? <laughs> <laughs> kind of <laughs> sad, like, yeah. I mean, it lasts long enough that like you're going to kill somebody. Like, the thing is with the doom the is The same it lasts value. It's it's better. Yeah. It's instant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, the, exactly. The, the, the doom the doom lasts the doom lasts a really long time, but like yeah. if you doom somebody, you don't kill them in eight seconds. They're probably out of the fight anyway. Yeah. Disaster. Yeah, and then you have the amplification coming from the Skyrath too. I played I played a pub earlier today, and I was playing Morphling against Doom, and I just walked at the the Doom when he had level six, and it was just like baiting somebody. I just saw his arms go up, and I was like, hit that F button. I'm walking away now. <laughs> yeah, it's just like so easy to answer it. Maybe maybe we all just start Doom haters. Yeah, I, I, just I, don't I, mean, I think Doom's just garbage. I am a Doom hater. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Yeah. I, 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 I've tried the hero. I don't I don't like it. All right, but this Faceless Void is oh. such a dirty answer Den for the Morphling. Then I pick, yeah. too. I, I, was thinking, I was wondering, can TNC pick it with Morph? I, I think the answer is yes when you have the Sky and the Lich. It's oh, I think so it's good. fine. I think it's fine. They could run it off lane. They could run it safe lane with the Morph mid. It would be it would be amazing, actually. Yeah. yeah. As a, as but a um, it's good for Mineski, too. It's not just a block pick. It fits well with the Phoenix. It gives them a stable carry. They are somewhat ulti dependent, Void and Brew. We've Maybe seen the concerned. we've seen the Grimstroke plus Void lane too. That lane absolutely mm -hmm. destroyed. Right. Uh, if you can get a lucky bash, I mean, even without the bash, you just jump on them with the Ink Swall. Yep. You know. Yeah, their lanes look good. Their team fight looks good. I I really think that Faceless Void is such a hard answer to Morphling now because you 
can't switch over. I think Sand King is the, is the... Oh, they pick her shaker. Cuckoo likes his hero, too. <laughs> That's kind of a save in a, in a weird in a way, too. Like, even in the chrono, you can sort of fissure block yep. the void. Yep. So it's also something that you... It, Earthshaker is really great at fighting these like big team fight ultimates because if number one like you can blink in echo somebody and then fissure the back lines and then you burst somebody. It's also why he's really yep. good against Omni Knight. Uh, you just completely Five, destroy team fights by disabling <laughs> everybody. It's, basically, it's, it's more disabled. I was thinking like, okay, what does this thing do that's better than Sand King? And Sand King, you have a stun initiation to set up Skywrath, but what if Void tanks and lives through it? What if you know Brood survives it? Shaker. You have a blink echo, followed up with a fissure, followed with a totem. It's just longer Even lockdown. Even if they don't survive, maybe with the team fight power and that they have, they'll win anyway. And Sand King, yeah, your bar strike sets up a sky ulti, but these heroes are all going to go BKB. So the second that stun ends, they're BKBing and they're not dying to the yep. Mystic Flare. Yep. So this this allows you to just have more lockdown. When your first three picks have no lockdown, Five I think they just wanted remaining. a bit more. There's very very few heroes in Dota that out team fight Earthshaker too. Like, no matter what, he can always win team fights yep. if he hits a, a nice enough Echo Slam. That's true. I mean, Void Phoenix is close to being up there, maybe. But it's a really hard lane for the Void, too, because Void walks up to the Creep Wave to last hit, and you just enchant Totem. He tries to backtrack it, but you're stunning him for longer than two seconds if you use the Fissure, so he, uh, he just can't backtrack the, the harass that's coming out from the, the uh, Aftershock. And it is for sure a Cuckoo hero. Fits what he wants to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Kind of wondering where they're, like, did Mineski just go invoke our last pick? Oh, Ban Huska, what are they picking? Yeah. Oh, actually, are they, are they maybe running Morph mid? Or are they going to, it's TA Morph. TA Morph sounds fine. TA versus Morph? Oh, I mean, TA with Morph. Oh, TA with Morph? Yeah. Yeah. They may just Ban Huska. They picked, it, the they picked it with Anti-Mage, so. Oh, right, okay. that, that's also why they Ban Huska. I don't sure. see an invoker I here. think the TA, when you don't know the matchup, might, a little scary here. Yeah. They 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 needed the, the disable coming from the the dragon yes. like this, this the single target disable like you don't want Earthshaker to start fights you want somebody else to go and start the fights and Earthshaker counter initiates they don't have any hero to start fights uh, right now and if Ten you have the Earthshaker doing you're just wasting his potential three of, out of four of the Manassi's picks so far like require you to have like some good lockdown or can be countered by it like Void Brew yeah. stopping the time walk stopping the Bruce split and the way we've seen these Phoenixes feed is by they dive in looking to egg and they just get like disabled on their way through or yeah. something. Huh. Yeah. Seen so many phoenixes die that way. Yeah. Oh, tinker. that's the other one. Okay. This is Select. an excellent tinker game. There is nothing to deal with him. Yeah. I but love this pick. Ag Shaker. I, I, I think it's. The uh, they've no, got. No, no, no. They've got still a good draft on TNC side. I mean, Tinker's not like some auto win tenth pick hero just because there's no Tinker counters. I don't know, game. man. I'm feeling <laughs> the Tinker. I'm you feeling the Tinker. I really. I. I, I, I really think this hero is, is excellent. Okay. Uh, I think he benefits greatly from the map changes. It's safe, very safe for him to farm jungles. He's got a lot of places to blink to. He does that persistent damage we've been talking about a lot. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I'm feeling this hero. Look at that Earthshaker set. That's, that's, in, that's insane. That, that doesn't even look like the hero, man. The one thing I do worry about with Mr. Ten Tinker seconds. is mm -hmm. some early rotations coming from Tim's. Um, this guy, yeah. That's uh, that could be pretty tough. Um, just sort of run into his lane, and also Cuckoo. Like honestly, it could come from either side. Yeah, Cuckoo's been making plays all tournament long. We've seen how hard it is to to go into the Tinker's jungle, though. And yeah, and and try to secure that. I think it's also a bit of a trap where it's like if you're over committing, putting wards there, and trying to hunt him, it like forces your game plan to spend time there where you're just like not farming your other lanes, you're maybe yeah. giving up towers because of it. You're not you're not pushing the tier ones against Tinker yeah, too. You're better off just focusing on your game game plan than worrying too much about a Tinker. Yeah. You're yeah. you've got a sky concussive, you've got a shaker who can go like an Ags or a Shadow Blade, DK Shadow Blade blinks. You'll catch the Tinker eventually. He'll make a mistake. If you can get the Shadow Blade or Blink on DK before Tinker does, there's yep. there's a a good window there. Like that's a solid window. Yep. Before Tinker's Shadow Blade and Blink. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Precisely. <laughs> hey, man, I've seen Shadowblade Tinker. <laughs> I've seen the Glimmer Cape. That's the other one. The that was the Cuckoo special back in the day. The only issue is that you have like slot problems if you build the Glimmer. Yeah. Do you, how's that any different to the Shadowblade on Tinker? No, that that's a, okay. that's similar. Like <laughs> oh that, yeah, yeah. That would be the, oh, the, right, the yeah, same sure. thing. They're, they both slot, have. Well, slot I think issues. the thing that's nice about the the Glimmer is that you can do it while you're still in Fountain. Swap it into your inventory, and then you come in Glimmer. Yeah, you can you can do it while T being too. Yeah. Like it, it's. It's kind of cool. It's pretty cool. You're just permanently in this. Force nice. dust. 
Well, let's hop into this game number one, TNC versus Mineski, and we are already in game and already in the pause. That's classic. You can expose your public match data to be gathered by third party in the settings menu. I'll expose you, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> These tips have not been, uh, I think, updated for the new patch. Need to expose Based on the sanking one. Need to expose some better tips. That they need to do. Oh, yes. Oh. That's a good tip All right, right there. <laughs> Are you guys muters? Do you mute people a lot? When I'm winning, this. when I'm winning, I mute people. What the hell? <laughs> when I'm losing, I, mu I don't mute people. Why Actually, do you mute them when you're winning? Why don't you just like because your teammates? Because I'm winning because I'm oh, I'm muting okay. people. Ah, sure, sure, sure. I'm not a muter. I I, mean, I, I embrace I, the I tilt. That's I let I let them. I know you do. That's why you're ranked like 800 now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm ranked 300. So you're telling me that if I don't <laughs> mute, then I'll go to rank 800? <laughs> Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> Correct. <from>? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> just like there's a 20 percent chance that if Drow <laughs> auto attacks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> We've done this one before. Yeah. <laughs> We're there, man. Just go. It's like in Dumb and Dumber. Just go, man. He's <laughs> looping around. I shall not report you. <laughs> oh, that's the good one. I shall not report you. I gotta say, the brew taunt with the new E, super effective to just like run on the barrel as you're just basically centaur ulting yourself mm -hmm. away at lightning speed. Lightning speed. I will say I miss playing the Brewmaster. This is what I would do. I would literally just take Drunken Haze, sit mid, and then taunt while I Drunken Hazed mid. That was my support play. I hate you. That it was amazing. It was so great. <laughs> that, you that is spam taunt. That is rude. That is straight up rude. <laughs> it was so good. That's like your bristle ag today. You're just laughing as the whole enemy team can't <laughs> can't do anything. The battle you begins. maniac. It was great. Ah, oh, what a world we live in. So, looks like it's going to be... Two for two. two, for two. Oh, oh, no, so no, 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 no. Mr. Uh, Ninja Boogie got the other one, so that's... Yeah, that three. Three yeah. for one. Ninja Boogie's TNC. Oh, God! He uh, he's just not tagged up. Wait, wait, wait. Three for one. Yeah. Press enter. No, it's two for two. Two for two. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, two for two. Um, Ninja Man. Boogie, Mineski... Hey, yeah, didn't it's, uh, you know yeah, how it yeah, goes. Yeah. So, they're going to try lane the morph. Um... Makes sense. Secure your morph lane. That's what Fnatic did not do at all when they picked morph and why they, I think, lost with it. Um, TNT lost with it. I think they secured his lane pretty well. They had other issues that game. But. I think Earthshaker will be fine against a brew. Once, once he's got the level 2, I think he's holding the point. He's going to go for Aftershock. Oh, level 1 Phoenix in the tri-lane is not great when you're against these ranged harasses. Because your, yeah. your spells also do self damage and it takes so long to get level 2. Phoenix level 1 spells are pretty bad. Um, and particularly when you only have one of those two spells, it's even worse. Yeah. Well, they just can't get over to that side shot for a, a wand either. This guy's getting all his damage out. May even see him go suicide. Unless he uh, probably has some mangoes on Tim. He's got one yeah, and one a null. It's <laughs> just null, null mango. My god. Yeah. This is That's the what I've seen I think all the guys do. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Um, drops it. Drops it. Mango. Who's going to get a few more cane bolts and then probably suicide. Uh, is Pilot Die dead? He may wait for the two minute rune. Nice. That's good. But Tim's will have another. Maybe, one, maybe more. one more before suiciding. I think you wait for one more and slash checking the rune because a potential regen rune. Oh, that would be unreal. That would be some, some nice luck. Let's find out. Yeah, nobody's switching out. Nice catch at the end there. The Grimstroke with the brew. Cuckoo left alone. I create nothing. Arcane. Oh, yeah, that works. Something. Oh, that's something. They D see it. Don't though, use on your Radiant. arcane bolt. Save your mana. Oh, he didn't. They see it on Radiant though, so he'll go, He's not kill, he'll go kill himself and then pick it up, maybe. Or not. That's true. He is going to check it. He's hoping for that. Oh, oh it's, just, it's big if he denies. He's just it. denying nice. it from the tinker. No, he's not. Oh, he's side pulling. He's not suicide. Do they have vision of it? No, they, they don't. don't. They don't. Radiant, Radiant. 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 That's Radiant. a cool ward. That is a great ward. Yeah, we keep seeing that one. That that, that ward is amazing. No, but this one scouts out the vision. A lot of them have been over here instead. Yeah. So it gives you like uh, ward vision. vision and then also like the potential gank. Heavy damage coming in. But Cuckoo mm -hmm. has a bracer. I think the as soon as you die in lane, you're thinking, I need my bracer. Yeah. Where did he die? He went to the. Did Phoenix TP in for the XP? Oh, no. no, he didn't. Zero. Okay. 
He may have TP. He doesn't have TP on him, so he may have tried to. Yeah, I think he did. Although he's level two and a half, so maybe he did get experience. Yeah, it looks like he might have. It might not yeah, just been Sometimes the TP recap may not show up because he didn't get the actual... He doesn't get the assist, so it may just not show it, yeah. even though he did get XP. That was big. That's huge. He's almost level three on that yeah. Phoenix. I he might have. He would get an assist experience, not <laughs> not like contributed to the kill experience, though, which is less. Okay. I don't know how those mechanics work. He just did triple, he bashed. triple bashed. <laughs> he just triple bashed. <laughs> I shall not report you. He just comes back in the lane. Nah, Teams doesn't care. You don't need help as this guy. You just outrange people. That's true. I mean, you're going to kill yourself anyway. He's just helping. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Next time, the Phoenix yeah. won't be able to get there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know. Time looks down. Dude, I want to play some Skywrath, man. Yes. Yes, do it. God, Sky is... Sarah's good. Oh, yeah. I actually think I'm going to do that. after. I'm grinding some Skywrath, <laughs> too. I'm going to pick it before you. Oh, cuckoo. You can play, play it as a three. I reckon you could be a be a course guy even. Probably not quite as good. But I, I, I like it as a three. I think it's okay. The hey. bonus here is that they do have their sticks now. Yeah. But they're still using so much regen in this lane. Both mid and bottom lane going well, but top lane has been just a disaster. We haven't really been keeping eyes because we're so enthralled with our Skyrath mage. <laughs> Rightfully so, I might add. You guys don't need to know about top lane. Um... But yeah, Shaker's died a few times here. And Febby just had to walk back home. Yeah. I mean, Grim Brew, we, we talked about this lane being pretty damn strong, and they're, they're showing it. Oh, Gabby. You get in some trouble, maybe, while they, they knew this guy was off, off suiciding, so. Dude, this, guy. <laughs> this tower. It's got the most kills in the game. But Cuckoo, in the meantime, in some trouble, and this is why we haven't been seen as much of the Shaker. Yeah, this lane's been a big pain point for TNC Predator. I, I'm, I'm not sure what you can put there to contest the Brew plus Grim or Brew plus Lich. These heroes are just... I think like the Sand King type things are a bit better because you have more escape. With, yeah. Between Barrow Strike and Sandstorm, you're forcing them to buy detection and you, you've just got plays you can make to stay alive. Whereas yeah. Shaker kind of do with the stuns, but it's... It's not really the case. I think no matter what, you're you. not you're not gonna farm. Like Sand King's just gonna burrow away. And yeah. Have to. That's same true. thing we saw with the anti mage. He just blinks away, and it is better though. It is better. Oh, I die. Ooh. Once his kill, it's gonna be close, but not enough. Yeah. One wreck, but sure. Really good job by Paladai, just sort of keeping himself alive there. Oh, he's got level three, so he's he has a game. As a phoenix, yeah, you've spent all your money on regen and wards. He probably has like 200 net worth or something, but. He's he's level three and a half. That's that's enough for him right now. Yeah. Well, mid, it looks like it's Tinker who's going to be able to find himself a rune. Uh, Two null tallies on Tinker. I was wondering if that was... He's about a level behind the uh, DK also. Yeah, DK's a, just a slightly DK-favored matchup. Okay, stun. Doing the damage, but the silence comes I, out. Rotation I'm is not driving. sure how this goes. Uh, the Phoenix being here, I think, is a kill. Those Fire Spirits just going to keep adding up. I'm out. Oh, Bracers? Down low Bracers? And living through it all! Okay. <laughs> God, 30 HP. It was almost a kill, but not. <gasps> Double Bracer. He had one less Bracer. He's he's a dead man. I don't think he entirely staggered the Fire Spirits, too. Like, he, I think, got damaged out of, like, two, maybe, maybe two and a half. Yeah. Huh? Off to a hot start, Maneski doing it good. Yeah, I mean that gank there is possible because Phoenix stays alive bottom and gets all those levels. Uh, they don't actually get the gank, but it well, was super close and could have been still a kill. A, it's still like you know Tinker's supposed to be getting kind of swamped a little bit here. So. The other thing is that that's DK to use no damage on the tower. Like he hit Moon and then he had to run away. Yep. Looking for the bash. Triple. Hitting Mr. So Gabby. Level two only, though. Has Gabby got uh, zero wave for him? What's he got? Oh, he's got one. one, just had no mana. Yeah, I think you're playing playing in the offlane. You probably need that point. Oh, nice little gank right here away. with the ice armor, too. Nice little catch. And they will get Moon. So first death for him, but there is no dragon form to punish this afterwards. So the tower is going to stand, and Tim's trying to get some vision down in the areas where Tinker's going to farm. Yep. Same thing we saw before. I like that the Radiant had a ward data already, like, scout this invasion, though. Like, they, they expect the invasion into the Tinker jungle. Yeah. 
So they already re reward the exact same God, spot. They really like that spot. Yeah, it's, it sees so much. Like it sees the sees the rune and sees defensively into your own jungle to and protect you. Def defends your mid lane too. Yeah. That's, that's like the path they're gonna go through. That's crazy good work. Kill down bottom. Mimo top. Cuckoo could be in some trouble. Oh, look at this guy. Look at that spot. Oh, oh man. There's a Bruce split though. That might end up causing a dead Lich. Let's say, I don't think they can kill the Shaker, but Lich is Dyer's definitely killable. Shaker's just gonna hide himself away. And he's a Juke Lord. That is a pretty cool move there. It's pretty good with the, the Quelling Blade tricks. Well, again, he's <laughs> even taking damage from that level 1 Sunray, I'm guessing. It's also another decal to use with no damage on the tier 1 tower. Yeah. It's kind of. Okay, it's it, you're just spamming it off cooldown most of the time. It's a bit DK. You get you do damage if you can. If you can't, eh. it helps you maybe secure some last hits or zone the enemy. Tinker. It is pretty important against Tinker though to get these tier ones. Yeah, that's a good point. So if they can if they can like make a rotation with the next DK. Oh, Cuckoo! He coin blades the tree and then just gonna walk forward, but the silence doesn't matter. Oh, sick. That was very good. Cuckoo and his quelling blade. Yeah. Reacted fast enough, at least, to get away from the put passive stun. Oh, yeah, the, the aftershock or the uh, the echo slam radius is actually quite large. This is the awesome. beauty of that radium ward. You see this tinker jungling, but you can't actually get in undetected. Fact. Tim's is gonna. Oh, he's not gonna die for it. He's fine. How many times have we seen people die at that exact spot? Yeah. Trying to invade jungle, they die, they just feed. Keeps happening. Or the mid lane. You have a lead, you go in, and then you throw away that lead by giving the enemy mid or some support, some kills. No fissure here for Cuckoo, but they're going to try Ooh, and get the nice pullback in. And, well, just like that, it's kind of over. Yeah. Yeah. He went for the, 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 the W is called the Ignite. Uh, what, what is it? What's, what is that thing? The Drunken Cinderbrew. Hey, uh, Cinderbrew. Right. People very rarely go for that. Smart money. Moon able to hop on over and snag himself a bounty rune. Except another one afterwards. He's gonna prompt the jump. For now, he's not buying the soul ring. He yeah, I'm, I'm curious boots. to see. I'm curious to see what he goes for. Yeah. I feel like the soul ring's slightly better. I think that. Not. I think it's fine to. Oh, nice glitch. Like they're gonna lose this tower maybe anyway. He's, tower. he's not gonna be able to defend it. I think by the time he gets the travels, it'll be for the next DK form and. Oh, he does go for the sword. Radiance middle tower has fallen. So he does he does want to defend this uh these early towers. Hmm. <laughs> Usually the soul ring is like, okay, I need to I'm Dyer's gonna need to do stuff before I get the travels. <laughs> it's good I mean you kind of also just farm your jungle a bit faster too. Like the, the bottle, with the bottle now. It's pretty good for, for farming. But he's like gonna come in and actually defend this tower yeah. in this area, so nice. Oh, he wants a Karuna, but got to respect this morph strength, I think. Tinker in the area, it's the power of the soul ring, able to fight. Morph wants these last hits. Okay, we'll take the sky kill. Oh, the Tinker's going to steal the last hit. I was going to try. Tried to go for that haze. Gaze rather to uh, pull him back in, but... I've seen a lot of voids, Karuna and Skyrats today. <laughs> Some serious hate, and I kind of get why, based on the lane stage. So worth it it's though. Yeah, it, it's not even definitely not a waste of Chrono. Early game ultis like the black holes, the Chronos, are often just used for solo kills, even supports. Yeah. That's probably a dead shaker. Move him into position. And maybe not. He's killed it off and he's got TP support though. I guess okay. I can slam if they are able to wait out the Bruce split. Soul bind though. No, they didn't get the double lift up though. Uh, so Tim looks like they are going to be able to walk away from that one. Cuckoo lives. DK TP in because he, he's going to have the ulti soon. He wants to push this. He doesn't even care that they get away. It doesn't matter. Like he, he just wants to push this tier one against the Tinker. But the Tinker has the, has the soul ring, so it looks like this absolutely was the right choice. How do you push into this, even without the travels? Yeah, you have to wait for Tinker to run out of mana. But with soul ring, yeah. we're waiting a long time. Should boogie? To do I swear to God, every time Void bashes, it's a double bash. It seems. Look at the curious thing. Nice. It sounds so satisfying. It does. Like the, you're just hearing him done, done, and then suddenly there'll be a done, done, and then a done, done, done. It's it's way cooler now too. You're like you're. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think that's his second hit. 
So you he's sure? Because well, he hits. Wait, let's let's watch him. Let's watch All him. All right. It, you hear three hits. Right, because it's his second hit as as him, and then he has one hit of his normal. So hit. the third hit is not actually a. It's not a rebash. It's just his. Yeah. His hero hitting a second time. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Because we've seen far too many for that to be a triple. No, that was that was a single. That was a single. Yeah. That was one, that one was a single. That was a single. See, single. That, that, the, those the were singles. Of it. No, no, those were singles. But the uh, the others, I think, were a triple. Okay. Like I saw another guy come in and hit. <laughs> All right. It's, it's cool. From like some other dimension. DK. <laughs> what he he walked bot. He walked bot. Sure. He walked all the way by. He's a journeyman. He his TP. Ooh, Radiance DK. Oh, this is a no one special. Chrono I up. dig it. Get some good damage. It's good scaling. It's pretty Radiance annoying for tower. Tinker sometimes Come play against blink. Radiance with the blink cancel. We will it's not see that uh, blink shadow blade timing against Tinker, but yeah, he's just feeling you know he, he can go late game. If you know you're going late, yeah, you're gonna, he's going to get a lot of farm. Dyer's middle yeah. tower is under attack. It does feel kind of weird to me. I don't know. Radiance? The Radiance? Yeah. Radiance uh, it's still a very, like, new build that hasn't been done all too much. Yeah. God, this Phoenix is inventory. It's so sad. Okay. Ward taken away. We still have Chrono available. Tinker in the area. Another ward dropped down here. Cuckoo looking for his opening. Newly nice. minted Blink Dagger ready to jump on top of these heroes. Chrono is down. They still have Fissure available. DK, man. Well, Cuckoo, he's waiting in position right now. The Echo Slam follow-up beautifully played. And they're going to take them down. No, JT's able to get out. And they get the Bruce Blitz too. None of these heroes die. TNC get baited into oblivion as Mineski don't lose anyone. Are you kidding me? Uh-oh. <laughs> They're in all sorts of trouble. Skyrat's like, please give me a kill before I go down. No. What? How come the chain stun come out from the from the earth earthshaker? Like, I think he has max passive and everything. He I guess got level interrupted one. by something because Grimstroke ulti hit onto him and somebody else, right? Was it the bug? The Grim bug? Yeah, it might have been. God, that is hmm. that is such a crucial time to get that off. That's like the it's literally saved two heroes. I mean, they both have a way to just. Get the hell out of Dodge. His first yeah. big team fight of the game going Maneski's way. That was the blink reveal too, right? Yeah. Like that's yeah. that's really important that that goes well with Feby Dota. You can tell Febby's played this hero a ton. Whenever Maneski pick it up, he such looks such a spammer, this guy. He's one of those guys that plays uh only support in pubs and prides himself in being high in Lamar. It's the triple bash. God, so good with the phase. Like, tons of movement speed and just stays on top of him. Attack speed is up. Well, Maneski, so far, so good. There is still a big old DK that's causing trouble. He's going to be having significantly more impact once that Radiance comes out. But for now, at least, it's a lot of wasted net worth. We have seen the Tinker versus the DK, though. Like, even with the passive at level 20, Tinker still does enough damage to, to shred him. We saw the Sheep Tinker, too. I think the Dagon Tinker is actually better, too, if you have some teammates to disable the DK, which they have in the Chronosphere and the Silence. From Stroke. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Frost armor onto that tower. Gabby continuing to, to farm though. Even though that fight going poorly, these dire cores that will scale pretty well are in a, it's a good place farm wise. Oh, look at Tim's. Oh, this is the play for sure. It's, it's a game of whack a tinker. This is going to be popping up all over the map, and you have to you have to find him and catch him. The thing with Tinker though is like you don't have any reason to go into those trees because there's so many little high grounds that you can play on with the new map changes. But uh, that's yeah, that the whole thing, though. It, it's high ground, so you could have wards on those high grounds. That's true. At he, some point, you're gonna ha he's probably going to blink into a ward. It too. He's still going to do it. I'm just saying. He has options. Oh, he's oh! not going to do it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that one's... Damn, oh, that's a rough one. He, he baited that. Should Cuckoo have maybe waited? Was that the Wait for the concussive to, to hit, perhaps. Awesome. The what? The Tinker Blink? Yeah, was that the first Tinker Blink? Yeah, that was that was that was his first Blink. But that's probably why that happened. He didn't expect the Tinker to have the Blink yet. 
Yeah, he could have. <laughs> just gonna wait. Because Tim, yeah, Tim's going with the concussive. He was gonna follow him. He could have just gone for the fissure and then walked up for the echo. That's yeah. a cuckoo play. Yeah, go big, go home. That's the cuckoo way. Tinker is just playing behind the tower too. He's he's not Radiant he's not taking the bait. Uh, but I'm that's part of the reason why this I ward is good still, because you can see him TPing in on the the creep wave. But I'm he knows to blink away from the ward when he TPs in. Like now, yeah. especially now, he knows that spot's warded. I feel yeah, like I the sky was in those trees. I would wager that he he probably had an idea just at the at like when he when he first TP'd in because he TP'd in and then it blinked back and didn't do anything. Yeah. You know? It wasn't just backwards, it was like backwards and up into yeah. the into those trees right yeah. there right where he's standing. Oh, right. now they're trying to wrap around because they know that they're going to be grouping here. Tim, yeah, they, they know for sure, yeah. Because that's the What? He found him? That's the only lane for them to play in right now. They're not anywhere else. They have to be there. Yeah. That, that, is such a, that is such a nice play from, from Tinker to like understand that the... Usually it's the opposite. That, that Tinker ward usually is like the bane of, of Tinker's existence, but he's just... Using it as a bait, this whole game. W what a waste of like the last three to four minutes. For for TNT. Yeah. Well. Good. Yeah, but I'd say for like the certain heroes who aren't farming though, like the Morphling and the DK are still <laughs> elsewhere on the map getting getting their gold going. But I mean the the net worth graph kind of shows it has been a, a bit of a lost opportunity for them. I think they're still farming the bot lane. They basically have plus one core farming with that. Oh yeah. Those and Tinker will be a pretty good burst damage solution for both DK and Morphling. Yeah. Um, we'll see how those BKB timings... I mean, I think Dyer's about the BKB timings. Yeah. Both uh, Morphling and DK will have to get the item this game. Probably DK gets a Blinker Shadow Blade first, and then Radiant BKB, but we'll, we'll see. JT sort of has been free to oh. get a lot of space oh, here yeah. as well. We're going to Battle Fury Void. I don't know about this, but... I guess it's he knows it's Tinker fine. He it's knows a, it's a Tinker farm game. Out. Yeah, yeah. He knows. Ninja Boogie just hiding away. <laughs> Radiance DK too. He may as well. Oh, he t cancels the TP actually. He's about to possibly die for that. Uh -oh. Fissure, and they hit it with Stroke of Fate at the end. And JT is gonna walk into the pit. The thing I, I I just like about the Mask of Madness is you can just he'd probably have more net worth now if he had Mask of Madness just farming jungle and ancients and things. Yeah. The battlefield is like better for clip pushing out creep waves, but not as good for for jungling and especially the build up is rough. That's huh? true. Boot to travel on Shaker. Very early. Really want to counter this Tinker, I guess. Yeah. All right. To the extent it even counters him. Hey man, ten second addition to the TP scroll so he can set up in one lane. Realize oh God. Take the bait there, go somewhere else. Look at that, cutting the creep wave as the timing of the creeps head through the tier one and tier two in the bottom lane. Like, this guy just doesn't have a creep wave for a while. Yeah. <laughs> this this game's gonna probably be a slow-ish long game. That's yeah. what it's kind of looking attack. like, at least. Um, be I, very I, pretty strategic. I think when we see the, the Tinker Dag on, Hopefully, we'll be coming out next. Uh, maybe, maybe they can start snowballing. It's, it's just hard because it's like the kind of Meepo problem where you can't start the fight as this Tinker. You're looking to be the last hero to show up to a team fight. Yeah. Um, you're relying on your Void. Um, Brew your running Brew. like an idiot yeah. and then Void Chrono. That's what we haven't seen from an Eskimo. Hello. Uh, there we go. With the DK follow up. Yeah. For a second, Kuku was out of mana. I don't think he had a. He needs a last to not spell. enter lanes and let Tinker deal with that. That's, yeah. that's definitely the play on the void. It's he hasn't been. That, uh, that's like the first time he's kind of slipped up. I yeah, think. it's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's pretty not like him to to do that. Or he's been in lanes with his entire team around him. Like it's been Tinker playing bottom with the other four play top. Yeah. But for whatever reason, that suddenly changed now. And I think JT maybe yep. just forgetting the game plan and showing a bit of his inexperience. He is one of the the newer players. Well, and I think that it's uh, you know you start feeling good. You find all these pickoffs. You're able to dodge the ganks too. And I'm gonna run to the dead lane and die now. Yeah. Ooh. Been there. But yeah, the slow pace like you were talking about. One thing that's kind of cool later on, I mean much, much, much later on, Cuckoo. Fifty percent magic resistance talents. Hey. Is that level twenty five? Yeah. That sounds like a level twenty five. And he's gonna get that with a hood slash pipe. At least that's what he has queued up. Yeah. And this this pace seems 
Like, well, it, it's not like it's amazingly for either. I mean, it's good for both teams because they're itemizing for their slow pace. Right. Like, you've got to avoid Battle Fury. You've got a Radiance Brew. All these heroes are itemizing for late game. DK with a Radiance. Everybody has fully recognized this game is going late and people are going to be 6 slower. I think I would favor Minaski's draft in the late game. Yeah. It's so hard Phoenix to bet Void. against Void. I'm with you. I, I think the team fight around Phoenix Void is just too good. Brew can get 25 2 his heroes. Almost. Very confident considering he has no BKB. Gold is brass. Now clips to his Lich, and they're just going to get chronoed and killed. It looks like oh. Fissure interrupting. Maybe the Skyrath can turn this one. They kill him off. That's yeah, Aegis down. That's, that's still worth a good use of Aegis, though. And now Tinker's going to start to go to town, although Tim's is hiding away, seeing if he can get out of there in time, oh, able to dodge to away. Tim's in some trouble, but still living, and yeah, it is going to be the kill. You want know, Brew? What's that Morphling up to? Okay. He needs to blink out very quickly. We'll do so. Cuckoo is going to end up dying. No, he gets the blink away. Moon's oh, he still blinked looking. in. Looking, uh, can he get the grip? No, he can't. Almost. So, Mineski yeah, win that fight pretty convincingly, I'd say, with a buyback, Lich buyback. Lich buyback, yeah. And it was like a 2k gold lead turned into 5k. Part of that was Roche gold. And yeah, the, the it was about a 1500 gold swing from the fight and like a 1000 gold swing from Roche, so. It did burn through the Aegis, but like we said, I don't think Mineski had any aspirations for like pushing super hard with that Aegis. Yeah, you you kill a DK, it's it's fine. You're on on track here with your big late game lineup, your Void Phoenix combo, your Tinker's kind of uncountered. So Brew's actually getting a Radiance too. So yeah, he's itemizing for the late game as well. As far as this egg goes, they haven't got the best line for killing it. With the BKBs, it's possible, but that's when the Void Chrono comes in. I feel like using this Chrono to protect the egg is actually one of the, the best things they can do. Or dropping the egg after some of those right-clicking cores have been chronoed, like the Void. Yep. Uh, sorry, like the Morphling. Oh, I mean. Even the even the brew with the Radiance helps with the Penny Egg. Oh my god. Dyer's Look at this. Top. Radiant that's Tinker top. Warts. I mean, that's kind of coming the the meta. This Dire side want to just play down here and keep this lane spammed out and play in those trees. You get a ward there. So you can see when they're doing that. I'd like to see a, uh, a Tim's Atos. I know the, the item still isn't getting picked up, but now it breaks TPs. Like The Axe is just so value. Yeah. Um, I assume he's got that. He's got Glimmer Cape queued up. Okay. Void BKB is really, really important. I think they can take basically Dyer's any fight. They need the Phoenix to be alive, though. Attack. Yeah, they're looking to fight. He purchased the smoke. They're going to fight around the BKB timing. He's going for Dagon X and Tinker. That's definitely the play. Fortunate that his null tallies don't build into that. He'll pick up a crown. Good old crown. I've seen people start with crowns on Tinker, just anticipating the, the late game Dagon. Not, maybe not start, but like go for one before. How much How much do crowns cost to me? 400? 50? Yeah. <laughs> oh god, Moon! <laughs> he's got the ward, he just knows he's safe. Because they de-warded as well there. Yeah. There's this Radiant ward behind the tower as well. Oh, that's, yes. oh my god, this They're is really so nice. well set up, but the smoke coming in from Mineski, and they're going to look and break onto Gabby. There's the blue split as well. Armel trying to run. TP's coming in. They're retreating for the moment, but they TNC. They seem in the trees. They're yeah. going back in. They don't have their void here for this. Go BKB TP. Uh, out of there. They're both going to BKB TP. And they, they had to. That fight was going south and going south quick. Not. Void's ideal. hunting. Not ideal BKB reveals on either of those heroes. Void's very deep. You could almost cut them off here. It's just By them, I mean. Yeah, uh, he's, yeah. just, he's just hitting creeps. Yeah. Battle Fury yeah. things. Oh, Echo? What was that? Okay. Oh. Jump in oh. and find the kill oh. on the Brew. Maybe oh. Silas? Is he he's living? Got, he's got no ult. <gasps> oh, God. He gets out and Cuckoo just dies. Three dead. That's putting Maneski firmly in control. That sequence of events. That's a one one v five fight. <laughs> oh man, that's that's the cuckoo way. Dyer's bottom tower I can't believe KP fallen. lives there. Magic resists the bracers, the ogre club. For goodness' sake. He tipped his grim. I wonder if Febby made a, a play to save him, like another silence. I mean, and maybe this is again one of the reasons why this Earthshaker has not been picked up as much. Like, it's three separate initiations that normally would have been a kill, but all of these small stat items, it's made the difference. That That's a good point. It's like a burst hero. Still does the same damage with higher HP on heroes. middle tower is under attack. Oh, 
<laughs> but right now, Maneski feeling good and in control of this game. Void with the Battle Fury, he's getting so far in two. Speed the brush. I feel like Void is going to be uh, one of those heroes that we're going to look back on. Maybe one of those top tier. I I agree. I think I think this is another one of those heroes that's rated pretty highly, but maybe not highly enough. Like, I think Spirit Breaker is also one of those heroes. I think Skyrath Mage is one of those heroes. I think these heroes are very very strong in the hands of players who are comfortable on them. For whatever reason. JT. Pushing out top lane, shows for a moment, backs out. This is like Void without even a Shadow Blade Dyer's or Initiation item. It's all just about being a threat walking around in front of people. And there's going to be the Dagons for the Tinker. Yeah, that's a big reason I like that he's hitting jungle camps now and not sitting in the lane. He obviously is not going to die to the Earthshaker like we saw him die in the first little bit, but also he's uh, that threat on the map if he's not showing. A lot of the time you'd actually prefer your carry player to play the lanes just so they're applying pressure. But you don't need to do that, and he's also got another job to do as the big team fight initiator killer guy, you know. No. He can't be showing. Man, look at these gradient observer wards. Yeah, that needs to be dealt with and which is starting on it. This one though still has some vision on it and a chrono. Like if they just walk forward here, you've gotta be so careful. Smoke up behind Gabby. This is against a void. Yeah, they're pretty grouped here, but they're hoping to get a blink. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that, was nice. That, that actually, I mean, the, the DK smoke broke. And Ninja Boogie's in a really deep place. Oh, three heroes all grouped together. They just chrono immediately. It's on to two. Is it going to be good enough? They get the silence as well. On to KP. They have the Echo Slam already out. They've killed off one. Is it going to be good enough? Gabby, egg. try and take down that egg. It is going to be broken. And Tinker's now chasing careful, forward man. for more. Tinker in trouble. He goes down. Triple kill for Gabby. Not the chrono in the end. It, I think it feels good to Void because you got this two-man chrono, but it's in this awkward place where you're they're on the low ground and the rest of your team can't get to the chrono sphere. Uh, and Morphling recognizing this Phoenix Egg can just be deleted with his BKB comes up big. Very well played by Gabby. He has seven thousand gold. He had seven thousand gold. Now he has a Scotty. Uh, yeah, that's. <laughs> That's nifty. <gasps> Waveform attacks targets. He's hitting pretty hard now. Don't call it a comeback. Oh, Tim's. They just used his leap. He does have his BKB, right? Should be. Let's see how quick they react. Fashes with the Battle Fury. Uh, he's not going to go for One hitting camps. Man. Top Let's just getting all these D wards. Attack. Unfortunately, it's just Radiant some sentry wards. But hey, sentry's pretty effective. Pipe coming out on Earthshaker. Trying to bait this out with the invis rune still working. Radiant JT. Tinker's alive soon, man. Phoenix is not. He's well, removed. I still don't think this allows them to get the tier 2, though. Chrono's down for 20 seconds, but even with it down, Tinker's just going to be able to defend these. Radiant's bottom tower Heart is coming under out attack. on the Dragon Knight. He's uh, he's actually going to be able to sit in the march for the most part with uh, the way that the 50% regen. Yeah, goes. the new heart's like better in this scenario yeah. with the Dragon Blood talent too, especially. So this guy gets the extra Cane Bolt now. They use the Soul Bind there as well. Chain Frost back and forth. That was a oh, casual oh, harass. I think they're. Backing off, it looks like, and just want to throw some nukes out. <laughs> Trying to bait out the know. BKB, maybe. Yeah, that would actually, that would make sense. Looks like they're leaving this top area side of the map, although they still have this ward here that they might want to fight around. We're looking at for items, so the heart coming soon. <laughs> Big swing. What Sky end up going for? Did he got the glimmer cape? He had it queued up. He's nice. the glimmer still. Yeah. It makes sense. It's so good against Tinker. It means Tinker can't... If you're, like, on the back lines and Tinker isolates you, you can actually survive him. Yeah. Which is a big deal as a support. Look at the call here. The long wraparound from Maneski. Yeah, they're afraid of Roach, but they're not in there. TNC are maintaining their position on the high ground. 
It's Lich so hard. Like, there's one uh, on Lich every season. entrance. Like literally every entrance yeah. had a player on it. Yeah, and Mineski, they get scouted, so TNC know what's up that they kind of smoked around. They just they just play the uh, the opposing jungle. You want you want to play this high ground? We'll play the other high ground. They kind of mess up the smoke. They didn't catch the Sky Wrath though. Which the, the thing is, play, playing this like Dyer's high ground versus high ground game benefits killed. the Tinker team for sure. Yeah, I mean, bottom lane's pushing on the tier three, Dyer's and just the fact Tinker's farming while Mineski aren't really farming on any of the heroes. Yep. Tim's is really far up. Do they? Let's uh, say, does he not realize where they are? He's playing as if Let's just take not a there. walk. <laughs> yeah, that was sort of weird. I think he oh, knows his team bots. smokes. His team uh, is smoked up while uh, he did not get smoked, so he's feeling like he needs to maybe show and distract them, play bait while he's not actually baiting. It's like the mind games. This yeah. is the other thing about uh, the bots for Cuckoo, is TP back, you can defend it, and then if they need to, they can always TP in on the Bruce. Yeah. But it's a direct nerf to Tinker, this boot to travel TP scroll thing, kind yep. of. Yeah, Radiant's like you can, courier uh, has been killed. Right, both couriers are dead. <laughs> Cruel. Why did they do that? Oh, Armel. These are both two very tanky heroes. So they force a waste BKB. So even I that. I think they can go back in on this DK when the BKB wears off. I think they just yeah. take any fight here. Uh, it blinks away. I was, I was expecting DK to just BKB TP home, and while his team left, I don't think he. Want, I don't think he didn't want to ditch his team, but this may ditch Roche as they secure this area of the map. Fifty seconds for the BKB. He's still really tanky and. Looks like they're going to try and do something else with Gabby along the side here. Tim's in the pit. They are... Oh, I think he was taking some damage from the Battle Fury. <laughs> and that <laughs> counted out that they're in the pit. Well, that's uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> unreal. <laughs> what, what, what was that play? <laughs> Tim's? <laughs> you just want to make sure, I guess? I don't know. Tim's? Turn, turn your monitor back on. Oh, it's done now. I so tank on Gru, though. Very know, bizarre. They have the long range leap with the chrono. They're seeing who it is that's going to. I don't think it's BKB's on cooldown. Uh -huh, 10 seconds left. Oh. In some trouble here. Might just end up dying. They have the Bruce split still working here as the chain frost is bouncing back and forth. And Armel's dead. Buys back. What is happening, TNC? On? Those two deaths were so weird. They were so avoidable. They're getting that Roche anxiety, man. Uh, on the other side, they end up losing Tim's again, but That's their eyes are on the brooch, and he ends up getting bashed. KP running in the Chronosphere. He is able to get the waveform away. Oh. Nice combination there. And now Armel jumps back in. They're stunned up as well. There's going to be the Echo Slam. Can they kill them off in time? Buyback from the Void. He wants to get back into this, but they're fearing him as they try and take down Roche, and it is going to be Aegis snatched by Gabby. TNC, it looks scary, but they end up doing it in the end. What a... <laughs> sequence of errors from both sides. Yes. Uh, who got the cheese? It's late in the day, man. Oh, I, I, no, for sure. It's, it's tense. This, this is the stressful series. Like, we talked about last game how TNC, Fnatic, it just felt like both teams were playing very loose, very carefree, and it was such good Dota because of that. This is the series where it's do or die. You lose, you're staying home. You win, you're going to the major. This is where the mistakes come out. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could, both teams are just playing very tense, very... Cautiously, that wave, that waveform out though. Yeah, of, that was of, of nuts. the chronosphere. That yeah. was that was perfect timing. It was uh, unfortunately just a one-man chrono in the end, and he, that well one man was his he teammate. Chronoed his teammate, <laughs> and then the Earthshaker comes in and gets a two-man <laughs> echo slam because and the egg, of the chrono. The egg was in the middle of nowhere. It wasn't even near a single enemy hero. Right. Oh, right. I think he's a, was maybe expecting the chrono to land on a bit more, Radiant so the egg would was maybe off. barely in range of the chrono. It'd follow up on the Morphling, maybe. Morphling is enormous right now. You bought back on both the DK Radiant's as well as the Skywrath and attack. the Faceless Void. They would have loved to be able to keep that Aegis so on the DK. I don't think there's any need to push and make plays now for TNC. Yeah, they have the heart on DK, but it might be too much. And now they're both caught here, Radiant's silenced as well, still switching over yeah. to the strength forms. They're fine. They're kind of playing like they have Aegis, which is not the case, because they, they get forced to just use another BKB here, which we're often seeing these BKBs forced out, something that Tinker is very good at. But I think TNC need to recognize, hey, we may have just won the Roche fight, but we didn't actually get ourselves an Aegis. Let's they, they play do, like there's no Aegis. They do have the cheese on the DK, which I, I think I think with the new heart. The <gasps> oh, they found him! Oh, nice. Tim's! He knew! But he can't stop the TP. 
Oh, oh my God. Fissure Fish was cool down. Oh, man. Goodness. By the Baby skin of his gives teeth. Mo gives Moon the tip. He that, knows that was that, a tense moment. That reveals the ward there, too, so that that is no longer going to be a play that can yeah. happen. He's not going to die there again. It's become a game of Illusion. pick Tinker off to win the game if you're TNC. Like, you need to do that and then force a buyback and then kill him again and then it's GG. For Mineski, there's a lot more, I think, plays and ways they can win this game. Their team fight is just a bit better. They have a lot of ways to force out these wasted TNC BKBs and just sort of win team fights. Void Phoenix. Like, their team fight execution is much more straightforward. For TNC, they need to make all these kind of difficult, complex, and more nuanced Dyer's plays. Well, I mean, that, that is true, but they might start running into damage issues. You look at Dragonite right now, Heart, as well as 4,300 HP, he's got... I feel like with the Tinker Dagon, Tinker, yeah. you're going to be fine. Really? Okay. Absolutely. Although, with, it's, it's, tough, it's tough to say. With the new Heart, it's pretty... I mean, how, much, how much regen does he have? Well, it's, it's skewed right now because of the active, but it's going to be a lot. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to have quite a bit, like 80 or something like that. But but I mean ev even still, even Tinker Tinker does way more damage than, than is necessary. Okay. Uh, it's just the with with the regen he can survive until he gets the BKB off possibly. If they can catch the Tinker, the, the whole game is about the Tinker. That's why all these narcissistic players play Tinker because it's like oh the whole game is about me. You have to kill me, not once but twice. No. All right. Well. 39 minutes into it. 7,000 gold lead for Mineski, but the big thing is still these buybacks, and they do have four minutes until the Faceless Void buyback is off cooldown. Also, Roche, about four minutes until it's capable of respawning. Walk in, find the stun right at the start, but Gabby living through it. Go on a cape and fine. Earthshaker does have a fresh PKB that will protect him from the, the, the Tinker interrupting his combo with the sheep. And it's really becoming just a, a game of who's holding which high ground and who's going to play oh, around yeah. it. Who, oh whoever gets like a initiation off with like a blink echo or blink DK stun or a good chrono is could potentially just instantly delete and remove a hero. And if that hero doesn't buy back, that's how you win a fight. Nature, if you're Maneski, you definitely look for the... Oh my god. He's not... Oh, yeah, he, he's expecting it to be back up. And if you're Maneski, you definitely go for the the supports. You go for the back line. If you can kill the Lich or the Skywrath, or and especially the Earthshaker, but if you can, if you can kill the Lich or the Skywrath, you're gonna win the fight. They're so so squishy and so important to these fights. Yes. The, on the you're... other side, it's kind of the other story where you want to burst down a Tinker Void Die. through. You almost want to kill the cores because they're the ones who are gonna be sh showing and more accessible. Yep. Phoenix, Phoenix is an okay kill, but almost better to just go for him when he eggs with your BKB. He, he has the five roll too, Phoenix. So it's yeah, it's a it's a little it's a little less important. The egg isn't going to fight. Yeah, it's a stun after like a chrono, but it's not gonna it's not really ruining. He your does team have fight. the GPM talent though, so he will he will catch up eventually and be a problem. Fifty three regen. It's a little bit less because he, like you said, took that uh, GPM talent. Oh, he did. Ah. I guess, I mean, you're against Tinker, the double armor doesn't really matter yeah. against any of these Still, heroes. but the heart regen with the, the, the heart yeah. regen amplification with the, with the extra regen, you can just stand in the march. And I don't I don't see why he needs the GPM when he has a Radiance right now. It's, I, I kind of agree. I think he's not having problems Look, progressing in terms of He's almost six-slotted. He, he actually has money to, to be six-slotted right now. Yeah. I mean, if the game is going to be this slow, maybe the thought is, like, there's only so many creeps you can get. Make sure that he has these items. Like, would he have had the heart if he didn't sure, have I the GPM it. talent? I, I, yeah, and, and buying that last item, plus having buyback then, plus having, like, a boots of travel. Yeah. He's not there yet. There's, yeah. He'll True get that. there faster. But it's like, how much difference does that last bit of items make? Not, I don't know, not game-changing amounts? Yeah. The region, yeah. at the same time, how much difference does that make? Maybe not. Maybe he considers it non-game-changing yeah, as well. Yeah, they both kind of suck in this game. We talked about how the Tinker can just kill him through it anyway, yeah. so... Well, I really like this Sky Glimmer because that's going to help damage. these frontlining DK Morphlings who might get hexed to actually stay alive. I, I think I think the Phoenix should honestly pick up the Glimmer too. I think also, uh, I guess they don't have Lotus Orb isn't the, the hard to save. Oh, okay, I just wanted to see. He's, he's went pure late game scaling right click build, which is yeah. going to pan out really well for them now that we're in this 45 minute stage of the game. Butterfly and more Radiance on DK. Definitely a uh, Definitely good Monkey King Bar game. And then also very high armor on both of those heroes. The Monkey King Bar, of course, gives you the magical damage. These, um, 
like proc items, javelins and monkey king bars. They're actually so strong in terms of damage efficiency for how much they cost. They're just way better than raw damage items. You very rarely see them in Daedalus. It's been buffed a, buffed a lot. All right, Armel, get the stun. Oh, he took 40 strength. That's probably good, too. 5,400 HP. Oh, <gasps> oh god. my god. Can't oh. have to deal with the regen. He would be very, very tanky right now. I mean, yeah, he's still yeah, it's, it's He really is, regardless. Tinker going for BKB next. To get into these fights. It's just an additional, like, he can now seventh slot item. Blink on the supports or blink on a shaker, maybe. Yeah. The still has to worry about the right clicks from them more particularly. Yeah, especially with the Scotty. Going for the Lincolns next. Looks like the call for Gabby. All right. We'll see how that something like that can work. It stops like a insta hex initiation, but with all the I mean Tinker's rearm and there's all these breakers kind of as well. Oh, gotta be careful. JT. Oh, oh, they, they, they saw it ping, yeah. We don't want to oh, be they here. Have, they have a ward there. Yeah. It's revealed. Nice. Tinker's done a good job not getting picked this game, but it's just always so scary. It always feels like when you're at 60 minutes in, it's going to happen eventually, no matter how well you've played for how long. There just seems this sense of inev inevitability sometimes that it can happen and will happen. More so when you're playing from behind, which is not the case here from right. Nesky. They, they have better map control, so... Next. This is not, not a super typical game from what we've seen for SEA nice. Dota especially. Very little fighting. I think it has to do with like just that pressure you're talking about. Oh, like, you, you absolutely, you don't want to like put yourself in a position where you're on a timer, and so they pick these heroes that they feel like can go late. And I think I heard a chrono. If it's these no. these teams are playing in group stage right now, this would be a different story. This game would not look like. It's this. also this awkward situation where if you're Mineski, Radiant you last picked Tinker, scanning. so you're pretty comfortable with going late in the game because you picked it. But then if you're TNC, you got last pick Tinker again, so scanning. you just want to be able to counter in some way, and their answer is to go late game. So yeah. both teams are just okay with going late because of this last pick Tinker. This could be a bit of a bait. They want the bounty rune here. They have the DK Sun follow-up. All right, there's going to be the Chain Frost bouncing back and forth. Nobody's taking any damage in this fight at all, with the exception of the Brew, who does eventually go the X down, down and now get him caught. They're going to oh, be able to get off. the both, though. Still too caught here in the Grimstroke ulti, and Armel is living strong. Morphling's dead. Morphling gone. Okay, buyback on both the Brew as well as the Morph in a second as he's going to jump back into this fight. Armel eats the cheese, still living. There's finally going to be the Brew split. And TNC, it looks like they're going to have the full reset. If they can, if I, they, if they can somehow get this Brew, it's, I mean, he, he bought back. Morphling used his BKB to try to focus the egg and did not kill it. It must have been like one hit from going down because he was hitting it for a good couple of seconds. But a long Roche spawn that means they won't be able to take advantage. Move. <laughs> very, very fortunate that Earthshaker and was it the DK and the Chrono they were able to get the DK, but DKB off uh, at the yeah, it was a, a good right, Chrono, right but chrono. it wasn't killing people. And Morphling was outside, so he could finish off the the Brewmaster. Yep, yep. They finished off the Brew who was already low, so they. If you don't kill that brew and you initiate hard on him, then you lose that fight. But for sure, and it, it still ended up being a pretty what evenish fight. Both teams buying back on some pretty key heroes. Yeah. Ooh, um, backtrack. Was it Mor morph and morph bot brew? Okay. That that that's that's morph and brew. And lich. Honestly, honestly, even fight basically. Like if the if the yeah. brew dies, you probably need to. I, the, I, I mean, you, I think you the morph to the tinker. The like morph matters something. matters more in the sense like you can. Theoretically, like hold your high ground a bit with the tinker. With the tinker, yeah. But Tinker's if they bad. get Aegis, but you can dive to tinker even. with the brew with the brew being dead with no buyback. Like it's still a win condition. Yes. You just have to play it differently. Yeah, this void not buying back. Yeah. I get the logic behind it, but this does give Morphling the Aegis to compensate for not having right buyback. And this is refresher shard, I, I believe. Ooh, and he took the multi shot adaptive also. Yeah. Who's a shaker refresher? Let's go. Seems pretty good. Don't imagine he's probably the one they have in mind for this. Maybe he's okay. Lich, Lich will pick it up. Lich will pick them up for now, but he's just he's just being <laughs> he's, not he's just a either. courier. He's just a courier. <laughs> oh god, he wants that. Oh wait, no, he doesn't have who do you, who do you give anymore. It to? Who do you give it to? I think DK will take cheese and Shaker will take refresher. Refresher on Shaker, okay. Yeah, take, yeah we'll see. Them. Them. Do do with the he's holding the cheese for now, but he won't be he won't be using that. Mm -mm. No, that's uh. You know that can be that can be used just like you, you take a fight, uh, you back off, just give yeah. somebody the cheese to heal up, and then all of a sudden you're back in again. You can siege something like that. 
All right, well, we're in crazy land now. Um, I, I, if you're TNC, I don't think you can really make anything happen until, like, Morphling buyback is up again, because... You try and catch the Brew who doesn't have buyback. He's... You play around your wards, play around your high ground map control, right. and look for Brew, but... Drumineski, oh you... Oh, boy. Tinker, mid lane. Oh, going on him. He glimmered, but they still got him. Oh, there's a... Gem there was a sentry. Gem and a gem, yeah. He's got a basher. Yep. He's, he's looking to he's looking to kill these supports. That level twenty five brute talent. Yeah. That's one of the. He went for the left talent. The left talent. I don't know if he hit hit twenty five yet. Oh, he's no, he's not. He's I so imagine close. he is. I don't know, man. Uh, the split, pretty pretty that nice. Crit is pretty insane. What did he, what did he go for for the twenty talent? Attack speed. Okay. He's yeah. yeah he's, he's, he's going, going crit, man. Definitely. Gotta believe it. That's a lot of crit. It is a lot of crit. And it's like eighty percent chance that you're gonna hit it too. That's the other thing that's nuts about it. Basher gives you good damage now, too, for, so for, for the crit. What's and like then the Abyssal's going to give you some lockdown through these BKBs. Yeah. So it's going to be, what, like a 400% crit or something crazy? This, this DK is going to wish he got that double armor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is. probably already is at this point, because he's six slotted with 7k gold. Yeah. Like, this GPM ten. talent has not gotten you 7k gold at this point throughout the game. Maybe you've gotten, like, what, 3 or 4k gold out of it? I mean, he, has this, he has the same items. That he, he, would, he would have buyback in these same items if he... Just had the yeah. Key. He's got an excessive amount of gold. Maybe at, like at most the talent's got him like five k. If he does manage to get into like a moon shard on top of it, he can kill off any brew split that happens. But maybe that's, that's the reason they also don't go for that as brew. It's yeah, potentially helpful. Boots travel upgrade is kind of nice too, since there's such a split push focus game now in the late game too. All right, but what will we see out of this Aegis? How are they going to make moves? They're trying to get wards down on cliffs and then fight around them, it seems. They, like, they move bottom like together, get a ward down. I feel like it's really hard to make a move with, with Morph, particularly if you have this, like, Chrono. Because if you kill him without using Chrono, then he's just dead as soon as he respawns. You just lay that on top of where he's going to yeah. respawn, and then you don't have buyback on Morph. It's hard to kill him without it, though, because of the Lincolns. Like, you can't get that insta-hex initiation. Oh, He'll start morphing. He'll always be able to start morphing strength. Oh, well, should be. Yeah, Gabby feels confident. Bottom tower. Oh, mid lane. They're on this DK. He's very tanky, but is he going to be tanky enough? God, look at that brood damage. He's just punching him. Yeah, this is where uh, Tinker is quite the damage dealer in late game. Soda. He did half the amount that the Tinker did. So maybe, maybe, maybe like the maybe Bruce actually better in the late game than he was with the. 65 Radiant second reduction on the ulti. Yeah. Everybody considered him super strong with that too. So may maybe this is actually better, this, this crit talent in the late game. And that, that highlights why DK did go the GPM talent because armor is not going to save you there. Yeah. There's definitely scenarios where the armor might help, but that was not one of them. Well, DK does have buyback and Gabby has Aegis. What is the answer for this push coming from Mineski? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Double siege. They can just uh, they can just bait some stuff. There it comes out! My God, JT just gets obliterated. What? What in God's name? I, I blink, guys. What happened? Someone, someone told me. And that. the echo slam to follow it up. Moon's caught. They're gonna be able to run him down with the axe trying to chase. He's gonna be able to get out of what? there. Jump to the high no side. Cuckoo. Unreal. He flubbed it. He had he had the tinker. Oh no! He had it. I think he, because of the oh. ag scepter. The ag is a great pickup, but I think he didn't totem stun him because of the ags. Yeah. <sighs> wow. That was. I think the that, ags that, made that, him juke himself a bit. That could have been huge if they had gotten the tinker off of that. Yeah, they would be able to f run down mid, force some buybacks, and then they created this scenario to win the game, All right. where if you kill him again. What what was the timing here? Less than less than a second, just about, with the stun and the silence, and suddenly the morph the morph the double the adaptive strike too with the uh, yeah. the Skyrath amplification just annihilated them. Now Aegis done and Morphling buyback still a minute away. Uh, this might be the timing when they could get something done with this. It's still a little scary. seconds against Tinker. It's really hard. Yeah, you don't feel good about going high ground here. I mean, best case scenario, you might get a tier 3 tower so you can kill some shrines. DK did buy travels. He's seen he's here. They're going right. to go for this. They need to be pretty cautious about this approach. 
this my is, god, this is Gabby. Very dangerous. This, I, I feel like if anything, this plays into Mineski's hands if you're not careful about it. Cuckoo throws out the fissure. I think it's about time to back. They, they literally just want the tower so they can kill shrines. That's big. But and the Hex, have they stuck around too long? The Soulbind is there as well. It's uh -oh. a silence onto two. They're we're gonna move in with this Faceless Void in just a second. He's TPing into position. The rest of TNC trying to make sure that they can get out of there. And it looks like they will escape for now. That. Be careful, Sin dog. for more Moon. Skyrath. All right, that might be an okay trade for the Tier 3 tower as they're gonna lose the Skyrath Mage. I think it was riskier than they should have been going for that Tier 3. They're, they play it well. Like, it's not that they're lucky to get out, but they, they play incredibly well to get out of there, but it was very tight. They well, almost get caught. It is it is very nice in this game for both teams to free up those shrines because it's been so long since we've seen yeah. any objectives. And it's like, oh, oh and then, like, next Roche fight comes down along, like, having those shrines near the Roche pit makes a big difference. Uh-oh. Armel. They're starting to bring him down the fear. They still have Chrono available. If they show themselves, Gabby gonna get caught. He did get up the BKB though, and still living for the moment. And they're trying to lay he into this Dragonite, but everybody is caught in this. The Echo Slam comes out, but the BKBs were there already. JT down low, but not low enough. They kill off the DK. He has buyback if they want to take this, and they have already retreated off to the side. They find Tinker the kill Diamond. onto the Tinker. Yeah. And chasing down this Earth Panda. They know where this oh, guy is at. They also oh, see they JT. The they got both of them if they want him. They but can totem after him. Are they going to be able to kill both of them? The chase forward. Cuckoo has it. The fissure. It oh. blocks. It breaks the TP. Cuckoo all over it. Can they kill off Cuckoo. this man? He's backtracking everything. JT actually living through He's it. He's out of mana. He backtracked. Wolf we'll off to the other side, but you can't backtrack that. Cuckoo is cooking up some big plays. Oh, God. I mean, they, they all have buyback, so... But they bought back on the Tinker. This is the way you win the game. Yeah, the, the, th the thing is, yeah. This that, is like that is step one. Yeah, um, that's step one. Step one, kill them. Step two, force buybacks. Step three, kill them again. Um, and if you don't kill them while the buybacks are down, you go back to step one. <laughs> this this late in the game, nothing matters except those buybacks. Like the, yeah. The, the racks. Or the me mega creeps matter. But if you get like one lane or even two, I would say yeah, that doesn't it's, matter. Yeah, it, it's, so, it's so insignificant. All of these heroes can clear yeah. even the supports at this point. Uh, that, that that tinker, if they can just jump on the tinker, the thing Ooh, is that they want to force who, who, who more. Has, who has buybacks? Okay, so they everyone, have, everyone has buybacks. The DK does not have buybacks, and he's like the jump hero. Oh, attack. sorry, you mean on the dive? Yeah, he, he, he wants, wants to the jump radiant. in. The thing is, like, they want to go for the tinker, but it, the DK needs to be the one that jumps in and yeah. goes for the tinker. Even the sky, sky used his in that fight too. Yeah. I think the play here is maybe get shrines and then go for Roche. Uh, like, it's pretty scary going up here if you don't know about the buyback status and. Grimstroke's going to be up soon. They have it on Void and Brew. They need to get out if those buybacks come at all, but it looks I like they're going to take the I think you give up Rax and let them take. Uh, don't use your buybacks, if possible. If the they buybacks, go, yeah, they're more important. You maybe give up a second lane. I think the Mega Creeps is what matters, and if you're feeling... I think you even give this up as well. I think uh, with the Void respawn, okay. they, they will use one, though. All right. Now they want to fight this. Already getting the slows down. They need to get some kills off of this, and they start with Cuckoo. Uh, I mean, TNC positions such that the hero getting caught is one with buyback. Yep. And Mineski know that. They. Oh, oh, oh Curia battle. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we saw him Cuckoo jump in to try to go for the Tinker, because he knows that that's that's worth the risk. Because he if he goes in and they kill him, he'll just buyback. Global concussive. Now he just throws and it just goes to a random neutral camp next to these wards. <laughs> If anything, the, war the wards work against you. He wants to push out the creep waves, but it goes to the neutrals. So this is why I kind of like the idea, again, of like maybe going in for the, the shrine and then into Roche, because now you're in this tough situation where Mineski can buy back and take the Roche fight. And yeah, it seems to have Shaker buy back themselves. We'll see if they... I don't know, do they have any way of getting vision of that area? Not really. But the other thing is they're about to lose their shrine. So now if you TP back in, they're, they're actually going to come and try and defend their shrine. They're like, they, I think they know Roche is respawning too. So if Shaker buys back, it stops the Roche from happening. It stops the shrine going down, like you say, to defend it. It's actually worthwhile. Just the act of buying back is going to scare Mineski off oh, Roche. And Scan sees inside the Roche pit now, so. Yeah. Now, this Tinker needs to be careful. He's playing very deep in top that is lane. Very aggressive for not having buyback. And considering like the lane's pushing out already, well, I don't think you're achieving too much pushing that out further. But Sky placed a ward on the high ground too, so it's a 1k gold league. Yeah. 
things. What's changed? our win probability? <laughs> That's I'm not sure. 50 50 almost. Yeah. Very close. Yeah. I, at this current time Maybe with the buyback test, I would say TNC has flavor. But once everyone has buybacks again. There is very <laughs> there's very little structure in Dota once you're this late into the game. Yeah. It is just about who can make the better plays as a team and get the right pick off on a hero without buyback. That's all that matters. Or have a fight around the right rune. A DD rune on more flame. Yeah, yeah. Arcane rune on yeah. Tinker Skyrim. Skyrim. Oh, jeez, that sounds insane. Um, they're just taking Rush right now. And <laughs> buyback, you can just go in solo. That's a, that's a, that's a, that, that's dude, a that is so important. That hero is... That's actually big Two display. minutes. They can fight. Just come All right. I they don't know he's in here. That's yeah. that's the thing. He kind of just waved in alone, but this is a big play by they Gabby. Should be if he can it. get it. Oh yeah, God, JT's walking in. Yeah, you gotta check this, right? If he's not gonna walk in there, it's really scary for him. He sees Gabby immediately, and now they need to fight this one. But they don't have that Skywrath Mage. Immediately gonna try and They're jump him. They down. get the fear of the Sinister Gates. Can they kill him off in time? Oh, Cuckoo jumps in, gets the finish buyback though, and he is gonna be able to TP back towards they that shrine. The hex. It's too. on to both of them. The damage coming out from Moon is gonna be significant with that. Soulbind, but they have the Supernova already down. They're going to be able to kill them all off. Gabby wants to take it off, but he's already waveform in. They're in a terrible position. No buyback on any of these heroes. TNC might have just lost the game. Oh no. It's the, the TNC of old. The TNC that will sometimes throw away games. Gabby. Oh, Ooh, God. He gets out. Uh, any of those buybacks anytime soon? None. No. <laughs> Two no, and a half are. minutes. No. Five minutes. Oh man, oh. this is this has got to be megas. I don't know how it is. Oh, and immediately Hex Lincoln's gone, and so too is the Morphling. He has buyback, buyback but yeah. just like that, they are getting ran through. Gonna kill moon. kill someone that doesn't have buyback, which is most of these raiding heroes. All of them except Grimstroke. So, oh, that's not the in. chain for us. They pull him in. Oh, uh, they needed a good chain for us here. I feel. Did he snipe him? Gabby needs to outplay. Okay. He got him. <laughs> He's got buyback too. They're, they're going to hold here. They they push pretty slow and no buybacks on Maneski. They're going to be really safe about this. And Morphling can just wave in with BKB and potentially delete the hero. Really, really Ooh. careful. They have the BKB though. And I say they're going to hold here and as Morph gets jumped. Four staff need to run. Glimmer Cape keeping them alive. Gabby okay. gets the BKB off back into the base. They still have not taken down the main buildings. They haven't taken down the roller that's, axe. That's so good for TNC though that they, they were able to bait that back to the fountain. Yeah. And stay Morphling alive. dies. I think that's game. I these, these late game glimmers, you know, that you just don't have detection sometimes because of the item slot issues. I, it was the gem on Brew earlier. Oh, yeah. Be careful. Tinker. Oh, he's trying to bait this. Oh, where's the melee right? Okay, they'll, they'll get it. They're, they're fine. They got just, 20 they're seconds. They're just sitting in the fountain, actually. They're very scared. They're so scared. There's no... Uh, someone gets Blink Hex and delete it again. It's game over. And, I mean, again, we're in this situation where Radiant only have buyback on Grimstroke, so it does kind of reset. Yeah. I mean, that last fight, if there's no Mineski buybacks, TNC straight up win it. What a hold by TNC. I yeah. mean... They, they played that pretty well overall. Like the, the Morph's first death looks like he gets nothing done, but it's just like buying some time, forcing out all those spells and hexes and things. I guess, Tink I mean, Tinker, you're not forcing it out. He's always got it, but you've got to find some way to delay. That was the time they, they both die there. Like, the Tinker has just been consistently running out of mana in these fights. Yeah. He's getting off, like, two or three hexes max, and then he just has to go back to base. But it's Mineski with a big strategic advantage now with Aegis Refresher. 13,000 gold on Moon. Buy, buy some Moon shards here. You're, you're Mr. Moon. All right, there you got him. Maybe the Brew? He doesn't yeah. have one? Grimstroke has a Hex. Um, this oh. game is, is something. It's tense. Uh, anybody not level 25? Nope, everybody is level 25. Let's do a quick little yeah, talents that's, check. That's always fun. Max Radiant health race. Whoa! Sunray damage. Cool. That's really unusual. Uh, back it's against track. a bunch of bunch of tanky, yeah. tanky heroes with the Chrono as well. Void not going the AOE, but I think that's okay. He wants to survive. Backtrack seems pretty good against the Invisibility. Earthshaker. Oh, the 60 HP regen. That works on buildings. Good God! Yes, yes it does. Okay. Uh, 300 GPM on the sky. Took the enchant totem, so he's jumping all over the place and. Then the 40 strength, of course. Okay. What's Grimstroke's 25? Inkswell Radius. Okay. That's a big old stun. 
We've, yeah, that's he's been pretty effective oh. with that too in these fights. JT, they see him. The Hex comes out already. Need to keep this guy alive. They have Chrono not wanting to use it as of yet. The Fear holding him in place. And now they've got him controlled. Cuckoo wanting to find the finish, but it's not going to be enough. They don't have the full chain stun. And now need to back out with the Lich already dead. And it looks like Cuckoo also going to drop. TNC again oh, in a tough low. position. The size of that ink swell. My god, it's like as large as the Chronosphere. I guess that's the point. That's pretty good. Cuckoo. What a combo. You think, you think the egg chrono is good? Yeah. Where do you see the ink swell? Couldn't find the, the echo slam, and then he goes for a totem in place when he could have just used his axe to get out. And they're just going to fully commit here. Yeah, they, they want the megas. And yeah, I think B. TNC uh, have to just defend their throne in tier 4s now. Oh, they found him, though. This is yeah. in trouble. A DK down and going to be killed off as well. Has the buyback, though. The rest of the buyback still a little ways away for the Dire. And JT brought down somewhat low. Tim's also trying to do what he can. They have a Mystic Flare if they want to use it. KP just jumps in! Those crits. Crits him to hell. Just distract him. Get the Mega Skid out, it looks like. Wait and reset. They're going to play around the next Chrono. Like oh, wait, no, they Megas. still have a uh, Oh, they didn't rage. get Megas. You're right, yeah. We didn't hear the, the new beats. <laughs> wait for the, that song. Dire. They appear to be. I mean, it's the same situation, but they don't have the Bruce split. That's the only issue. Do they, the, do they have the Bruce BKB? They don't have Chrono. They do have they BKB do. for he, him. He can go in. He can get just a strong. Tim's jumps in. Oh, finds BKB Boone. on Tinker. BKB Nicely done. Immediately. And now they're both Hex. They're both in trouble. And they've also been able to control and kill off the DK. There's no buyback from him. They're focusing everybody. Gabby wasn't able to wave for him. The Phantom Sprays is there. And GG called. Maneski, game number one goes to them. This is this is like a true grand finals. This game had that feel. Uh, I mean, it essentially is. This is the last slot for SEA. Up for grabs. And game one is... It's a barn burner. Jeez. What a fun way to start off this series. It's, it's hard to do analysis for something like that because it just came down to <laughs> super late whoever... Late game Dota is, fought better. Yeah, there's there's not much logic to late game Dota. I mean, it's, it's that's the old uh, the old Dendi adage, you know, like why why go late game where <laughs> anyone can win. It does feel win a little early. bit more structured with like the the four high grounds now, where it's like you play around one of those. It's like everybody has their own little base outside of the base, but I don't know. It's weird. I think also both teams are really scared to to lose naturally. Uh, yeah, with, with no buybacks and being. The, the final series. We saw, yeah, a lot of mistakes. That's the nature of these games. And these are the second and third best team in Southeast Asia. Yep. Um, TNC, you could make an argument, maybe the, the best alongside Fnatic. They almost, they had a close 2-1 series already today. So <sighs> it's it's tough playing those games. You can put the best teams in the world in late game Dota and there will be um, wrong calls made. Mm. The higher the stakes, the, you know, the bigger the, the, the mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I was sure where I was going with that. <laughs> I love I that. I mean, it rhymed. Yeah. yeah it no, good. well, Mistakes, it? mistakes. <laughs> it's not the same word. It's a different word. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's a different it's word. Fair enough. It's right. the same syllable, though. It is. Right. It's, it's literally the same yeah. sound. Yeah, it's <laughs> that's good enough. <laughs> Look, right. it's like, guys. Yeah, it it's like... We're doing it. We're going to go to 6 or 7 a.m. or something. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Stick around, though, because we got more great Dota to come up. The Grand Finals. Who is going to be the final team coming from Southeast Asia and going to the Major? We'll find out right after this. It's TNC.